Grey host has found a foothold. Now the city is lost. Not yet, it isn't. On your feet, Sword Thane. We have work to do. I. I apologize for that display. Tell the princess. Tell her it won't happen again. You need to understand. I pledged my sword and my soul to the High King. We all did. And he betrayed us. Nothing good, I'm sure. The Grey Host appeared out of nowhere and cut down my soldiers. Only a handful were able to escape before they sealed the gates. Svargrim made us fortify the entryways. The bastard knew he'd lock us out! Not that I can think of. But what does it matter? Svargrim brought the Grey Host down upon us. He's bringing a harrow storm! We need to evacuate the city while there's still time. Some of us will survive if we flee now. That's unacceptable, Sorkin. If we can't get the sacred oil to make more elixir, then we have to stop the Harrow Storm. Princess, we've kept watch. There aren't any witch pikes around the city. Then you missed something. They needed the witch pikes for every other Harrow Storm they summoned. Of course. Blackreach. The Grey Host must have gained access to the temple from beneath the city. They could easily hide the Witch Pikes underneath our feet. We know the Grey Host has been using Blackreach to clandestinely move around Western Skyrim. Why not launch their attacks from there? Then we're going back to Blackreach. If the Witch Pikes are there, we'll destroy them. As a junior member of House Ravenwatch, I never expected to be in the thick of things like this. I have to say, it's a tad overwhelming. Am I looking forward to going back to where Singalis experimented on me? Not even remotely. But I want to see this through to the end. I... I need to. The Grey Host can't summon the Harrowstorm without performing their ritual. And we know that requires witch pikes, so there's that. Plus the usual assortment of coven witches, vampires, and werewolves, I suppose. Nothing we can't handle, right? I had hoped to secure the sacred oil, and make enough elixir to distribute throughout the city. But we're running out of time. Our best bet now is to find the ritual site beneath Solitude, and stop the Harrowstone before it's unleashed. You're absolutely right. Especially after we found evidence of undermining down there. All I can say is that we were focused on other things. Let's go and save the city now, alright? A vampire. He sat on his throne, pretended to mourn for my mother, and said he had a plan. But all the while, he was preparing the city for the Grey Host. He's worse than a monster. He's a traitor and a liar. I... I know. It's just... Look, we were never close. Not really. But he's my father. My king. What about you? Could you do it? Could you confront, and maybe even kill, one of your parents? I find that surprising. I thought you adventuring types were decisive and willing to do whatever was required to succeed. I... I need to think about this. Let's stop the Hero Storm, then I can decide about my father. I'm going to do whatever I can to stop the Hero Storm and save Solitude and its people. After that, we decide what needs to be done about Svargrim. Joran sent me with a warning for solitude. Now I'm about to march into the starless depths of Blackreach to try to avert a massacre. How do I keep getting myself into these kinds of situations? I thought you knew me better than that. Taking on the impossible challenge, beating the unbeatable foe, this is what I'm good at. So yes, I do have to do this. And we're going to win. We have to. Svargrim. To cast his lot with the Grey Host, become a vampire, threaten his own people with a Harrow Storm. It's madness. One thing's for certain we have to stop him. 
One step at a time. First we make our way down into Blackreach. Then we find the ritual site. It must be right beneath the city. We smash witch pikes and kill as many Greyhost bastards as possible. After that, we pray to Kine and hope for the best. That's 
Ominous. And, unless I miss my guess, it's directly under solitude. That's our target. The ritual site must be somewhere inside that horrid structure. I scouted the area before you arrived. It's full of Grey Host forces. And from what I could tell, Svagrim and Radha al Saran are both inside. Not so fast. If we rush down as a group, they'll be on us like a snow bear on a horker. You go ahead. Try to cross the bridge to the main entrance. It's well guarded, but you're more than capable. Or you could try the alternative. There's a sluice gate in the outer courtyard, tucked away against the keep's eastern wall. The few patrols in that area can be avoided if you're stealthy. Opening the gate requires a key, but that should be simple enough to find. You know your strengths and weaknesses better than I do. Play to those. But whichever path you decide, move quickly. We need to find the ritual site and deal with the Witch Pikes before they unleash the Harrow Storm on the city. Cross the bridge or use the sluice gate to get into the inner courtyard. Then find the keep's side entrance, east of the main stairs. I'll stay with Svana and Fen. Make sure they don't get themselves killed. We'll meet you inside as soon as we can. That's a good question. I didn't see anything when I scouted the exterior, so the Witch Pikes must be somewhere inside the keep. I expect that once we find Svargrim and Radha al Saran, we'll also find the ritual site.
Nice of you to join us. I don't understand. What am I supposed to do with these flasks? If we run into trouble, throw one of them at the source. Then get out of the way. Split up and find the ritual site. We need to disrupt it. Split up? I suppose that makes sense. I'll go with our friend here. This looks important. This book? I recognize the handwriting. It's Singalus's. It's more of his research. Harrow storms, witch pikes, netherroot broom. How it all worked together for the benefit of the Grey Host. Hmm. This might be something. I just need to skim through these assumptions and incantations. What's this? Instructions on the placement of runes throughout Greymoor. All the way to. My gods! This entire tower! It's a witch pike! The magic I sensed earlier. It was familiar because it's the same magic used in the Harrowstorm rituals. Don't you see? This entire keep is the ritual site. They turned the tower into a witch pike. But at the scale, it's inconceivable. I... I'm not sure we can destroy this tower. We need to keep going. Find a way to disrupt the ritual. But I think I understand what they're doing. Zingalis found a way to release the Grey Host from Cold Harbor by using the Harrow Storms. The Harrow Storms steal life energy and use it to pull the souls of the Grey Host out of Cold Harbor and into the Grey Reliquaries. It's quite ingenious. How they reincorporate, though. It has something to do with those stone husks, I think. Almost oh, certainly. Perhaps even a way to reverse the effects of the Harrow Storms and restore the Harrowed. If the notes are complete, it would just require study, experimentation, and time. Unfortunately, we lack all three of those at the moment. Svana, 
I think this entire tower functions as a witch bike. What? Fen, how is that even possible? Ah! The energy! It burns! That's my father! This way! Pain is part of the process, Vargrim. It's exquisite! My master! Once you are attuned to Greymoor, the storm will be yours to command. Rise, Sargon, and unleash my storm upon solitude. Then the last of the Grey Host shall be reborn. The Ashen Lord. He turns Fargrim into the heart of his hero storm. They're moving higher up the tower. We need to follow them. Take these stairs. Svana and I will go this way. Look, a grey reliquary. It's massive. Just like the storm they planned to unleash on the city. They should take us to Svargrim and Radha al Sarat. Leaders, we found them. Good. This whole place, the Grey Host is preparing to go to war. So the thorns arrive once more to prick my thumbs. A barrier. And Radha al Saran? Your persistence begins to annoy me, mortal. You killed my beloved brother and sister, Singalis and Ulfra. I freed them and you sent them back. Back to the hated Molag Ball. Suffer for the transgression. As much as it would please me to flay the flesh from your bones, I have more pressing matters to attend to. But know this, as I felt each death, you shall feel it when the Harrow Storm takes every life in solitude. You shall feel it when you fail. Bold words, but futile. Svargrim rises, and the Harrow Storm with him. Once the attunement is finished, they will be unstoppable. What happened? What did that damn vampire do? He's merging the power flowing through the keep with Svargrim, giving him control of the Harrow Storm. Then you must undo it. I'll stay and help. Leaders, you and our friend keep going up and find my father. Get ready to fight.
Keep moving. Don't let them surround us. We weren't able Damn. to stop the attunement spell. It's just getting stronger. A tower. It must lead to the upper levels. I need time to get that door open. Everyone, protect Fen! into the upper levels now. Hurry! The attunement is complete, Spark. You and Greymore keep our one. The power! I am unstoppable! 
need to hurry. I leave the harrowing of solitude to you. Remember your <gasps> Radha Al Saran is leaving. Why? So high up, but still far beneath the ground. of triumph? What game do you play, Radha Al-Saran? Game? I gave you power. If you can't conquer Skyrim, Hold the friends. fault is your own. Followed the booming voices. We're now started. ascend to your tower of the my wolves and unleash my solid. most potent but heroes. Radha Al-Saran, The Grey the... Host is counting on you, little king. Lyris assumed the Grey Host was preparing to attack. But it's just as possible they're relocating their forces. We'll figure that out later, after we stop my father. Fair enough. Friends, lead the way. Oh my. What is it now, Fen? Oh, nothing. Just don't look down. Tunnels look freshly dark. The Grey Host has certainly been busy. Harrow fiends, is that what became of the Harrow Svagrim brought to Castle Dower? Harrow fiends, corralled like warhounds about to be set loose. the temple's undercroft. Above the Tower of the Wolf, Storm's only partial fault. My father's up there. Open the gates and let's go. But the hell beats below the temple. If they escape into the streets... You and I will keep that from happening. 
Take the princess and deal with Spargrim, partner. I... yes. It's the only option. Let's go. Behind us! Right I'm with you, my friend. Up the, up the stairs. Get to the tower and stop Spargrim. We need to get up the ramp and onto the walls. That's our way to the Tower of the Wolf. to my ascension. Rada Al-Saran has given me power beyond anything you can imagine. Behold! Oh, my God. 
for Mother, for Solitude, and for every soul in Skyrim. Your ambition, your greed, look what it led to! We need to hurry. Light spun gold and honey, bright sun at midday. She loved a boy named Ooh, as fiercely as ice in blades, My father betrayed everything to aid the Grey Host. With his death, solitude is saved. It's done. We killed my father and ended the Herostorm. The city still stands. Skyrim still stands. Although the Tower of the Wolf may have been damaged beyond repair. No, of course not. My father was the High King of Western Skyrim. I always thought he had the best interests of our holds and our people in his heart. But there was a darkness there. Jealousy, bitterness. He wanted to control all of Skyrim. For Svargrim? Yes, I think it was. As for Rada al Saran and the Grey Host, I am not entirely sure what they're after. Enough of this. I need to get to work. With my father gone, someone has to pick up the pieces and restore the holds. First, on behalf of Western Skyrim, take this with my thanks. We would have been lost without you. Then rest. Check on our friends. Injuries must be tended to, buildings repaired. Other wounds will take longer. We'll have more to do soon enough. Whatever Rada al Saran and the Grey Host were planning, I think the worst is behind us as far as Western Skyrim is concerned. With my father, with Svargrim dead, their grip on the holds comes to an end. Not officially. At least, I don't think so. I feel like the whole world's crumbling around me. But the city's still standing, so that's something. I'm more worried about our friends. We left Lyris and Fen to hold of a horde of hero fiends. Hopefully they were able to hold the courtyard and keep those monsters out of the city. You go on ahead and check on them. I need to collect myself. Solitude needs Princess Svana now. And I'm not quite ready to be her. Thank you. Help them and anyone else as best you can. I'll do the same. Once you're done with them, I'll find you and we can figure out what to do next. Gods, I hope so. Haven't we dealt with enough already? I need to see what happened firsthand. All the suffering and pain my father caused. I can't undo it. But I can make amends. Or at least try to. Thank <laughs> you. 